This is synchronicity. 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 Welcome to Synchronicity. I was a bad boy last week and didn't release an episode, but you know what? It happens. I mean, it hasn't happened up until that point, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes you don't do things that you have planned to do. That's okay. Relax. It's all cool, man. No need to worry. Uh, In case I sound particularly chilled out, uh, I am. And the reason for that is... I'm not taking things so seriously anymore. And you want to know why? Oh, no, I'm not like a millionaire yet. I haven't hit the jackpot. Not totally there. But I have found and I've been led to the middle way. And we've spoken about this a lot on this podcast and pontificated. And, you know, I think we all slip into flow states at various different times. And I think that will continue to happen for myself and all of us. However, I'm going to point out something I didn't anticipate when I got into all this cryptocurrency stuff which is most of us have very um, polarized and not necessarily rigid, but um, accentuated attitudes when it comes to money. And if we don't think we do, you know, sometimes we're, we either are kidding ourselves or we work through some of those issues. Um, I like to think up until recently that I you know, had a relatively healthy relationship with money. Um, but I didn't really recognize just the impact it had on my life. And, and don't worry, this isn't, like, this isn't a commercial. I'm not trying to get you to buy or do anything. I'm just letting you know what has happened in my experience. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's no guest today. Sorry. I Here's also what's going on. Just just so you guys really understand, I'm not I'm not bullshitting you here. Uh, I have now two people who are going to be helping me coordinate guests um, on a monthly basis. Bas- it's as simple as between taking care of Eli, doing the cryptocurrency stuff, building out a business in that department as well, running this Discord server. Um, it's basically been impossible to get anything done. I mean, ask Alexis, the yeah, neglecting husband duties as well. It's just overwhelm at this point. So, you know, I missed an episode of Synchronicity, and it's also been hard to just set some things up. I do have things in the docket. I do have things that should be recorded this week. So stay tuned for those. However, I am now getting some assistance um, in some areas that I sorely need it. The beauty of it is, is I actually can afford to be able to do good people to, to do this for me and help me in this capacity. And that's awesome. And I really, you know, am grateful for that opportunity. So anyway, I digress. What I was getting at with cryptocurrency is it led me to the middle way, the middle path, whatever you want to call it. One of my biggest fears when I even just daydreamed or thought projected that, oh, maybe I could do really well. Maybe I could make a, a lot of money. You know, who knows? Uh, I worried that I would be attached to those sums, to the idea of losing it, to being stressed out, accumulating or selling it. Um, And obviously there's shades of that in any direction at any given time. We're all human, but really having it be an overwhelming aspect of my life. And much to my surprise, that hasn't been the case. And I've been analyzing this over and over again. And there have been days, in case anyone hasn't been paying attention, uh, Bitcoin (laughs) is not where it used to be. Uh, last month, we're sitting around $7,000 today. It was $19,000 in December. Um, so there's been quite a bit of tumult. And, you know, it's been a chaotic time for a lot of people. But at least in the server and most people who are, you know, everyone in there knows this and people who know me, um, this is just no one's freaking out. This is totally like we're cool. And, you know, we may have lost some money on paper, some of us more than others, some of us not at all. Whatever the situation is, something is happening here. There is a paradigm shift going on. I know I keep using that term and it's going to become trite and it probably already is to a lot of you. But today, you know, we had the U.S. government looking, the SEC head and these other heads of very important chairs that decide how to regulate or not regulate cryptocurrencies, essentially, uh, I wouldn't call it bullish, but if I were going to give the the meeting a 1 out of 10 rating in terms of good for cryptocurrency, I'd give it like a solid 7.2. 
it's really they they knew more than nothing they acknowledge that this is something that's happening and they acknowledge the technology behind a lot of this stuff is really good distributed distributed block ledger technology as they called it um so yeah there's there's stuff going on the stock market is plummeting i'm not here to give uh, a whole recap of what's going on with cryptocurrency i just wanted to point out that a very paradoxical thing happened and i think for a lot of us maybe a lot of us who are from you know the or like to think about spirituality and consciousness and all of these things money can have a very weird function in our lives because we still need it obviously for most of us to to get by day to day and for to pay for things and take care of responsibilities yet we recognize it can be a destructive force if not used mindfully so a lot of us still hold weird things and i can say this confidently having worked behind the scenes for a lot of nonprofits uh money is a big issue for a lot of people still to this day and people you might be surprised about. Uh, so the thing is, is that I see what it can do. But paradoxically for me, it's become a very stabilizing force in terms of seeing how these things operate, seeing where we are relative to where we will be potentially in months and years. Um, and again, I'm not bullish on this because it's a great way to make money. I am optimistic about it because it's something that I believe is going to help society. And it already is. And I'm not talking about specifically Bitcoin, although I do like Bitcoin. I'm talking about technologies that run off of blockchain technology. I've spoken about this before. I'm not going to go into the whole rigmarole today. But I, I know this, this podcast has teetered on becoming a crypto-centric um, uh, you know, podcast, for lack of a better term. And I want to point out that I'm not doing it because this is just a new fancy that I think is cool and that's all I'm interested in. I see these worlds kind of merging together in a lot of different ways. And I've also seen cryptocurrency kind of be a bridge between multiple words, worlds that I'm interested in. I've seen people from the music scene I'm interested in, producers who are excellent and I admire. Um, we've connected over this. And I think there's a deep connection between all of these things that are happening. And I think if we can be aware of that, um, we don't have to look at this as a way to make money, but it's a way to kind of tune ourselves to be aware of our shortcomings and shadow aspects and also our strengths. And it doesn't just have to be, you know, you're doing cryptocurrency and that's how you figure that out. But it does seem that money seems to be kind of a trigger point for a lot of us to reveal certain egoic characteristics. And I think that's worth continuing to point out. Um, so that's what's been going on. Um, like I said, there's going to be episodes coming out. And also, if you do have any questions, Q&A, Noah at SyncPodcast.com. There are any guests also that you would like to see on the show or hear. Like I said, I have people helping me now. So we can get that going. It's not just me reaching out, hoping someone gets back to me or seeing that they get back to me and not being able to respond in a timely fashion. So we're, we're improving our logistics operations. Our supply chain is doing well. Um, so yeah, that's it. I apologize for last week. Uh, there's going to be new stuff for all my Patreon patrons. I really appreciate it. And I see some of you editing your pledges down. That's totally cool. I am not offended at all. When I release more music, if you want to kick it back up, that's okay. Regardless, I really appreciate you guys continuing to sign up for that. Um, speaking of Patreon, you can join CryptoSync through Patreon, the Discord server. I'm not really doing a big long ad for this. If not, syncpodcast.com. You can sign up from there. It's now uh, good news, bad news. Uh, bad news, it's a paid server now. It was open until February. The good news is uh, it's getting better by the day. It's incredible, I think, and that's not just because I started it. I think the community that has surrounded it, um, you know, they're just, it's amazing. I'm really, um, it's one of the things I'm most proud of um, helping to get started. So, all right, that's it. Big thanks to Patrick Nemchik, who continues to get these episodes out. Now, especially important, as I'm releasing fewer of them, apparently, in the past two weeks, don't worry, still going to stick to the weekly regimen. Um, you know, if cryptocurrency rubs you one way or the other way, if you're drawn to it and are interested in it, I encourage you to research it. If you get upset when someone mentions it and you think I've lost my mind and this is all I'm talking about, just notice that too. There's no, I'm not telling you to do anything. Just listen, listen to what's going on within yourself. All right. That is it for this week. I will see you next week with guests. I promise. I promise. Thank you. And I'll see you next week.